Hello, this is Claire with DC Digital. Today I am demonstrating a back-to-back -back DC25 UTW. In this video, I'll be going over how to use this product and also its hardware and features. And I will also explain what is different in this particular model than from our standard model. So for this particular model, our customer is going to use it for uh, city council meetings and they wanted it to have a display that people could see in front and then a display the same thing on the back so that everyone could see it on the back. So it's the same thing just front and back and it's just screwed together so that it stays together. And as you may have noticed it is a master and secondary system and we can tell that this front display is the master because it has an antenna and this one in the back is the secondary which just follows the master's commands. Uh, a piezo sound at the end of period is standard in a DC25 UTW but for this particular model they did not want to sound instead it will just flash at the end of the period to let you know when the timer is finished. So I'm going to demonstrate how we use our remote and our three main functions of this system. So right now it's in the clock format. It's a 12 hour clock format and you can toggle between the clock and the timer here by using the clock timer button. So right now it's in the down timer, which we can tell because of this decimal point in the bottom right corner. And then if we switch using the up down button, we can tell that it's in the up timer because of this upper left decimal. So to use the up timer, it's very simple. All you have to do is press start and stop, and then it's going to immediately start counting up. And at the end of whatever you're timing, you can just stop and you'll see how long that it took. So right now we can see that that was just nine seconds, but this also utilizes our digit shift technology. So when it gets to minutes, it'll shift to the minute there and then the seconds after that. I will just leave that going so we can see that later. But then if you want to have both of them running at the same time, again, you can toggle to the down timer. And for that, you can set it seconds, minutes, or hours. So we'll just set it to a few seconds to have a demonstration of what the end of period will look like. And if it ever goes too long, you can just zero it out again. And we'll set it to just a few seconds this time. And as you can see, we know that our up timer is going because of the blinking that is happening for our uh, little decimal there in the upper left. And then for using the down timer, you just hit start stop again and it will go through however long you've set it for. And then at the end, as you can see, the whole display will flash and that's how you know that it is finished as opposed to having a piezo sound. So again, to stop that, you can just zero it out and we can check back in on our up timer. So it's been a minute now. So the minute has shifted to this digit and that is the seconds instead of having the seconds and then hundredths of a second. So we can stop that one as well and just zero it out. And then we can go back to our clock function using our clock timer button. The remote is a wireless handheld remote that comes with a belt clip. Uh, it's 900 megahertz radio, has a nine volt battery operated, uh, a range of upwards of 150 feet. The digits on this model are 2.3 inches high and they're viewable from up to 120 feet away. It is an all aluminum enclosure with a power coating finish. The mounting is usually on the back of this unit where these two are screwed together. But for this one, since they wanted it to be back to back, we will just mount it on a tabletop. So we give our customers little rubber feet that will go on here and make it easier to mount on a tabletop. And that comes 
actually standard with all of our products, the rubber feet do, but we can customize your mounting for whatever your need is. The power type, it's 120 volt um, wall adapter with a six feet cord, as we can see there, and it just plugs into the wall or whatever um, electronic you have for that. And yes, you just plug it in and you are good to go. That's all the connection that you need. So like this product, all of our products are manufactured and assembled here at our location in Carlisle, Ohio. If you are interested in this product and want to order it, or if you have questions about how we can customize any of our products for your specific needs, please contact us using the link in the description. Again, this has been Claire with DC Digital demonstrating a back-to-back -back DC25 UTW. Thank you so much for watching.